Cross Sable Point is a winter paradise for ice fishermen. And they like these nice shallow bays. And scientists like Mary Beth Warburton. Oh yeah, they must have something they're feeding on. Who on this day has reeled in a big catch. Oh, here they go. Whoops. A rare glimpse into the beauty of nature. Okay, one's in flight. Three bald eagles feeding together. This one here looks like about a three-year-old. Twenty years ago, a sight like this would have been all but impossible. The total count back in 1982, I believe, was 36. And just back in 1990, the total count was 130. And last year, it was 349. So that's quite an increase. In fact, record numbers after being on the verge of extinction. And that must be thrilling for you to, to see the numbers grow every year like Oh, it's that. wonderful. Yes, that's what we hope for. There he goes. He just went right in front of us. And it's more than just a thrill. It really gives scientists a big picture of just how healthy the eagle population is. Well, he's going to take off with it. Look, he's carrying it. As was the case with the discovery of the deadly effects of the pesticide DDT banned back in the 70s, scientists say a drop in the bald eagle population is often a sign of something wrong in the environment. Banded. That's why every January, endangered species specialists like Mary Beth Warburton got a blue band on his right leg. And hundreds of volunteers search for and count the bald eagles who spend the winter in the Adirondacks and on Lake Champlain. Oh, look at the white right down the back of his neck. And in the last few years, they've been seeing more and more of them. Yeah, it's a very good sign. It's a sign, it's a good sign for all of us, meaning that the environment is, is doing well because they're being able to survive. And while it's often seen through a lens, sometimes it can be a moment. Oh, it's right here. And a thrill. He's coming right over us. To remember for a lifetime. Unbelievable. In Valcor for Champlain 2000, Tom Helling, News Channel 5. Unbelievable. See, which tree's going to 